Okay, the stream is on, so good morning everyone here in Reykjavik and on Twitch. I'm uh, CCP Basement Ben, FanFest number 10, and uh, on stage still, growing old, but still here. And uh, this is CCP Maximum Cats. Hey. Who just celebrated his first year at CCP a few days ago, not so long ago, very recently. Yeah, a little while ago. Yeah. And uh, Pavel, it's his real name, but okay, CCP Maximum Cats, Cats. is behind some of the newest design that we've done uh, over the past year. And we've managed to force him to be on stage today for you guys. So, uh, and we are going to, I mean, you've, you've been through this session, maybe some of you, at least you know about it. Very often it's a bit of concept art that goes places involving the audience and so on. More spikes. More spikes. <laughs> okay, there will be spikes. Do you promise there will be yeah, spikes? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So here we're going to start with an existing design, a recent ship that you all know. Maybe we can actually swap the screen already. There you go. Which uh, Pavel has actually designed. And we're going to look at this ship and we're going to cut it in two and look at the inside. And if you guys want to participate and make suggestions and so on, please shout. Spikes, of course. Everything is possible. And we're going to explore a bit together what could be inside of this beauty. Right, Pavel? Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what's inside, so I'll need some help. OK. <laughs> Exotic dancers, a bar. Exotic dancers. Okay. The castle chamber. Give us, f first maybe give us something just to give the scale so we have an idea of what we're going to be looking at and how much stuff we can actually cram in there. Yeah, yeah, actually, like, we have this scale here, which is in meters. It says 250 there. So, so this is roughly 250 meters, right? So, like, a regular car would be this size, probably. That's a car, okay. So, so I, don't, okay. I, don't know, I don't know if we if we should keep it in scale because I mean everything. Put the car in the small. ship then. Put a oh, garage. Yeah, okay. There you go. Okay, that's the why, scale. Why should we park it? I mean, here. Like we have these little doors here, and then they open when it goes into warp, and maybe this is when the cars can go out. Could be that. There you go. Okay, we have the scale. Right. So when you design a ship like that, maybe, I mean, it's also an opportunity to discuss, of course, how we do the designs and what, you know, the ideas behind them on, and so on. And uh, as usual, we always explain or at least pretend that we, we make designs according to the function of the ship and that we try to justify the, the form by the, the function. So, I don't know if, Pavel, you want to tell us a bit well, what you had in mind when you came up with those shapes? We clearly don't really think much about what's inside, as you can see, and it's all empty. But... Uh, where would be the pod? The pod? Hmm. It's, the bridge is probably somewhere over here, because, like, and this is what, if you... Take this away, this is where all the windows are. I mean, this is probably some sort of a storage area. I mean, I don't think it's a bridge. Because, and it's one of the more protected areas, right? But then the bridge isn't where the pod is, probably. So the pod, is, the pod should be the pod area, should be the most protected pod. So it's probably somewhere over here. And then I would put a reactor somewhere over here. It has this thing that extends when it goes to the speed mode, which the idea behind that was that it's some sort of a and an additional radiator or something, something to dissipate heat. So probably the reactor is somewhere nearby, like somewhere around here. So I would put it like, I mean, this is my thinking behind the original design. I mean, we can do it some other way right now, because, I mean, I didn't plan these cars here. So, <laughs> so like, say, the reactor is somewhere over here, and the bridge is somewhere over here, the capsule is somewhere over here. And yeah, anything else can be anything. 
Like, okay. Let's go for it then. Okay. To the pod, the exotic dancers. The power core. Do you want a bar? Yeah. It's a bar. Okay. We need a bar. It's the first thing that, yeah. All designs start with that. You draw a bar and then you just <laughs> add layers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they're at work, of course. But we should, we should. <laughs> it's a bit of the poles. It's in the Mars ship, right? Are those the dancers? Hmm. No, no, not yet. I think the bar was just an excuse to get the dancers. <laughs> Should they have spikes? <laughs> Everything is possible. <laughs> it's starting to look like a car show. You have like. <laughs> They need a disco ball. <laughs> we might need to have a like a chapel inside of the <laughs> ship somewhere. It's right, right, right next, next to this next room. Next to the bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can go and wash your scenes quickly and come back. Too small, we can't see them. It's this scale. Just, um, just people in Hamas just chilling. <laughs> okay, looks like we have a bar and a nice one. So, what else did we want? We have the garage. We have the bar. There, sorry. 
Okay. And the what? Wait, just just a minute. I have to finish this one. To engage. Who cares? We have a bar. <laughs> okay, do you want to look at that? Something a bit more. Drone hanger. I don't think this guy has a drone hanger. I mean, the... Does he? Okay, I'm done with this one. Next room. Next one. Ah, can you go that, for that? Yeah, okay. Yes. Good one. I mean, You're hired. <laughs> wow, well, that's a big wheel. It's all right. It's to power the disco ball, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> What's cool about that is that, like, there is no gravity in space, right? So, like, all these guys don't <laughs> can go like this. And then, I mean, I wouldn't want to spare any of like crew members to go and be like the slave masters. So there is probably some sort of like a robot hand with the whip. <laughs> that oversees everything. Maybe two. I wish I knew they have these rooms in Amar ships back when I was designing this ship. I mean, <laughs> I mean. But who is running in them then? No?
And it has to be well lit so that they don't trip over anything. It's work safety and stuff. <laughs> And it's science fiction, so we have to have all these slides everywhere. And so they don't feel too oppressed. Sorry? A carrot on a stick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does it have to be a carrot? Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen spikes yet, right? Forget that. Oh yeah, the spikes on the other side. Wait. Oh. oh, that's proper slavery. Everything. That would be the carrot? Yeah, space carrots. It's a big carrot. Uh, well, let's wait, let's compare it to the car. So, where do you grow the carrots in the ship? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> hmm, where do they grow them? Hmm. These could be like greenhouses or something with carrots. Bacon storage. Bacon storage. Okay. Bacon we storage. need bacon. Okay. Well, then this is bacon storage. No, this is what bacon looks like in like raw form. <laughs> I, was, I was surprised to find out. But. And they're cloning them because it's the future. So like, they're all a little bit alike. Yeah, it's they're the like, they're genetically modified, they're very big. Okay, so we have the essential now. We have the bar, we have the dancers, we have the cars, we have the bacon, the slaves. What's the non-essential that we would want to put in there? Ammunition. Ammunition, yeah, <laughs> just in case. Okay. To take care of the pigs. <laughs> Dragon. Ah. So what, what's next? Sorry? A seat for? A safe. A safe. Ah. 
Mm, that's safe. Mm. What what do they store there? I mean, in, in the safe, because like the books. What? Black Samaria, the books. Books. It's actually the captain's quarters that are behind that door. <laughs> Don't tell you. Okay, wh what should we add next? Something serious now. No? Warp drive. Warp drive. Okay, let's go for a warp drive. Can we imagine how a warp hmm. drive looks like? Well, it should be somewhere next to the, to the slave wheel. Yeah. Hmm. I think you can come up with anything at that point. I'm trying. And then you put Lance Armstrong in there, and you're good to go. I, I don't know yet, but I mean, this thing has got to power something else somehow, and I mean, this is the most obvious way. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Totally looks like a warp drive. Th these are warp pedals. Like it's just it <laughs> rotates and like shh, go through the warp. <laughs> That's amazing, Pavel. Yes, thank a you. Solar eclipse and now that it's just like <laughs> these days starting. 
What should we have in the middle there? We have a big empty space, right? Between the bar and the save above the peaks there. A kitchen. Right. Oh, maybe an altar. Could be good to have like a. <laughs> hey, yeah. They they just go outside when they need to go to the toilet. Maybe you could combine the toilet and the confession booth and. Oh yeah, yeah. And the kitchen. It sounds appropriate. Sorry, the toilet and the throne room. The drone room and the toilet. Okay. The throne room, I think, where the where the throne stands. So, so okay, toilet, then altar. What what else? In kitchen, yeah, okay. And it's space, so of course the toilets can be upside down. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that. Yeah, you can. So if it's the altar room and the kitchen, maybe they're cooking on the altar. Thing. Maybe it, it heats up, or I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can fry the holy bacon just on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and for the right version here. Yeah. They'll need an elevator for, for bacon. It goes. Nobody's ever going to fly that ship again after what you've done to it. <laughs> well. It might be a toilet. But it's a zero gravity room. Slaves so. are working in the kitchen, so I mean, no one cares much. Yeah. Soon. Someone wants more gold. Yeah, yeah, I love some gold. You can go at the end at a little gold to everything. Yeah, put a guy on one of the toilets so we have the scale with the cars and everything right. Oh, 
Are those chefs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's an interesting culture. <laughs> well, they are now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, so we have food, we have entertainment, we have toilets, dry we have powers. Sorry? Dry a dry cleaner. <laughs> Did you say dry cleaner? For the okay, for the robes. <laughs> ah, you can have a little dry cleaning with the robes hanging there and like on a rack. What? Yeah, I just have to find a spot for it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Next to the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised every day. It's, <laughs> Maybe. What did you work on since you've been here? You were involved in the mortise designs. You worked on that one. The yeah, and then the Caldari Tiffy Destroyer. The That's right. Chimera redesign, Blackbird redesign, mm -hmm. like all these things that people yeah, seem Blackbird. to hate. Yeah, if you guys are curious about the, uh, the new destroyers, the Caldari one that Pavel designed, we're going to show it tomorrow at the, at the art panel. So yeah, just for, for the for the record, that eyebrows thing on the black dot, it happened an accident. I I didn't mean it to be like that. <laughs> I mean I didn't realize it does look like eyebrows until I read it and read it, so it's a bit too late now. For the pancake, the mortis pancake. No 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 no, no pancake isn't nice. mine. It's it's Georg's. It's Georg. Maybe he's here. Koki, are you here? <laughs> it's that guy there. Why? You don't like the pancake? Be honest. Sorry? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A room to change the ship mode. With a lot of levers and things and yeah. mm, where are though? We have time for that. Slaves pulling levers. Can you do that? Should be. With pleasure. So this is a sniper mode. Defense mode. And it's two S's. It's a bit confusing, but I mean, I'm ours. 
no, a robot hand with the whip. It's just, it's just, <laughs> all right. So is that is that a whipping device? Yeah, yeah, it's it's, to, it's this robot, robot hand. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. There is a slave assigned to each of the levels. And when they have nothing to do, they just sit here. Yes, give them a TV. Okay. Why not? It's just to keep them awake. <laughs> just so they don't run away and it's slaves. Sorry? Some slaver house. Ah. Slaver what? Slaver. Slaver house. Hounds. That's right. Okay. Where should that be? Next to the cars? What is it supposed to be again? It talks. Hounds. The house. Wait, I'll just, I'll draw one first. <laughs> now, I, I won't put them here because I want the bacon to be safe. But I, I, everywhere else. <laughs> no, the, the, we won't let them in the kitchen. Just. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Okay, one here. Yes. I hope so. It's going to be the cover. <laughs> there will be quotes around art, though. <laughs> Sorry? Yes, it's going to be a book about the engineering of Eve rather than. Okay, we still have a bit of time. Ooh. A big steering wheel for the captain somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have five minutes, Pavel. Okay, well, I mean, the steering so, room, the steering wheel room is an important wheel, one. Which should be connected then directly to something around the power core, at least if we have gas pedal. Well, we need like the probably are like belts or something and like ropes here, so, so he can let the guys know which lever to pull. <laughs> I 
Oh no, I have a better idea. Uh, we need to have a bit of gold in that room, right? Yeah, um, the, I was planning to make the chair golden. Oh, actually, there is a quicker way we can just reuse this. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Not really. Oh, you're running the whole picture. It was so perfect <laughs> so far. <laughs> now the perspective is just. Oh. It's a bit out of perspective. But, mm. So this is a steering wheel. Pedals are somewhere over here. And so these ropes are connected directly to these leashes or whatever these slaves are, so you can just pull them. And Wait, I'll have to move this closer. They have little tags, so he knows which one's which. And I think we're running out of time. Well, no. It's too bad, it was going so great. We could go in for hours and hours. A vending machine, that's right. Did you guys have enough spikes this year? No. Can you put some spikes so we don't end up with like forum rage for the next 12 All right. months? Um, here, I guess. So like if the slaves fall from the wheel, they have to think twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said that was a zero gravity room, so where? Um, yeah, okay, then just everywhere. <laughs> Welcome to Eve Physics. Yeah. Okay, I think that was the final touch. I'm sorry we can't keep going. Uh, if you want to see some more serious stuff about art, you can come to the art panel tomorrow. It's at uh, 12, if I remember correctly. We're going to show you a bunch of stuff related to all the other things that have been talked about and announced and also a couple of things that are more specific to just art, design, graphics, and tech. So, and uh, also a couple of redesigns and new designs. So, if you're curious, it's I believe in the big tranquility uh, room at 12 tomorrow. Until then, you have a good day at Fanfest, a good night. It's pub crawl tonight, right? Okay, so nobody's gonna be at the art panel at 12. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so have a good day. Thanks for the inspiration there. Thank you, Pavel.
And uh, I think if we restart in Karna, we have a good starting point there. We have some game design in place. Cheers. Thanks.